Welcome back everybody. So if you've been keeping up with my Halloween decorating this year, which of course you should, you will know that we tried installing these Universal Monsters window films in my window here this year, and I am just not happy with it. It doesn't really draw your attention, and of course it's much too small. So I thought this year we would replace it with a projection effect. I've used projection effects in the window in the past, and I think it is um, pretty good at drawing you know, the eye up to this the window here because we're on the second floor and it's pretty far from the street. So I was thinking what kind of window effect, effect could I use this year? I have several of them. Usually when you buy the projectors they come with them. So I had a lot to choose from but of course it's not what I want. So I went online to look for something because we are doing a bit of a Ghostbusters theme outside this year. And then inside, of course, we're doing a literary theme. So putting the two together, I thought, hey, remember that weird librarian in the Ghostbusters movie? Maybe there's some sort of projection effect about that. So uh, let's turn to the computer and see what we find. Now, just to give you a refresher on what the Ghostbusters librarian looks like, uh, we'll turn to Google here. And you can see it was just this sort of old lady librarian wandering amongst the book stacks when suddenly she turns into the crazy little monster ghost here. So I thought that was very creepy and perfect for my window. So I started Googling again, looking for librarian ghost projection. Of course, it pops up with the Ghostbusters librarian. But of course, there's nothing officially licensed. There are a couple of library projection effects, but one in particular caught my eye, which I think is the only real one that they have, and that is from Spectral Illusions. They provide a lot of um, projection effects, and they have several for sale. And if we scroll down on their website here, we have Ghost of Prudence Prim, and that one is very much like the librarian. They also have a haunted library effect. And then of course they have the haunted library with prudence. So my first thought was, well, maybe I just want the ghost projection effect. So let's go ahead and see what their um, website shows that projection to look like. Of course it has sound, but no one's going to hear that from outside. So you have the librarian, she shushes you. A couple of times. And then she screams as she turns into the crazy monster ghost. So I really like that effect, um, but I think, you know, I don't have a black backdrop. I have a white backdrop that came with my projector, and I'm a little concerned how she's going to appear in, you know, on a white background that she might just get lost in it. So then I thought, well, I kind of like the library effect. Um, and you can buy the library effect separately. So the ghost. Prudence Prem is $15. If you buy the library, it's $20. And if you buy them together, it's $25, which is more than what I wanted to spend. I was comfortable spending $15 for the Ghost of Prudence Prim, But again, I'm concerned about her showing up. So I think the library backdrop will work in helping to uh, make her more visible. So let's go ahead and see what she looks like in the video. So we've got some moving bookcases, the ladder moves, and some books do their thing. I'm just gonna go ahead and fast forward this a little bit. You can kind of see in that little thumbnail books move around, this door opens again to reveal some skeletons. This is a 2 minute 43 second clip and it doesn't look like the ghost of Prudence appears 
until here we go right around the two minute mark. So let's watch. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and add it to the cart. So one thing I particularly like about the library effect is that the screen is much wider so I can position the image on my window where that center piece of the window that kind of blocks the image isn't going to be the center of the projection. That way I can make sure that when Prudence appears she's a little bit skewed to one side so that you don't lose that effect. So I went ahead and I added it to the cart. I'm gonna just bite the bullet and pay the $25, <laughs> which to me seems a little excessive for a little um, uh, projection effect, but I do appreciate the artist's effort that went into it. So let's give them some support, I suppose. So added it to the cart, I'm gonna go ahead and check out and then I'm supposed to receive an email where I can download the file. So I've gone ahead and entered my credit card information. I thought I was gonna get an email, but it turns out I can just go ahead and download it right from this order page now. So hit the download and it is done. All right, I have it. All right, I went ahead and confirmed I did get the email. It did have actually the file attached to it. It's a little confused because I could have sworn I saw something in maybe um, the descriptions that you were supposed to get an email and it came with the file in two different formats. Anyway, it doesn't matter. We have it now. Let's see if it works. So I'm going to take my USB stick, pop it into my thumb drive, pop it into the computer here, and let's go ahead and transfer the file. That was easy. Okay. Now we're just going to pop that into the projector and it should be all ready to go. I just need to go ahead and prepare the window. That means taking down Frankie and his bride and putting up my plastic sheet that came with the projector. With the plastic in the window, it's time to set up the projector. Now I've gone ahead and put the projector on a tripod, and this is one of those tripods that can telescope and extend. That's gonna help me so that I can just align it you know, on the floor, stably, in front of the window. It's not gonna have to be balanced on a table or awkwardly off on the side or on the floor or anything. So if you have one of these, I highly recommend it. And if you don't, it might be a good time to invest in one because they're very functional, but uh, I think that should do it. Let me go ahead and now I'm gonna turn on the projector, see if I can get it aimed right, and then we'll take a look and see what it looks like. All right, so what do you think? 
I actually ended up having to abandon my little projector that came with my Window FX product. It just wasn't powerful enough to display the image with a crispness, a clarity, and a color that I thought was satisfactory. I ended up actually having to break out a regular projector just to get a much sharper image that I could see from outside. When I tried using the little projector, it just everything kind of, um, it seemed washed out and the real problem with that was that the librarian just kind of looked like a blur. And I mean, it was in focus as much as it could get it, but you just, she didn't stand out from the background enough for some reason. But with the um, better quality projector, I could actually make her out, not only from right outside the window, but all the way from the street as well. So it's still not perfect. I mean, I'm gonna hopefully try and adjust it a little bit more before Halloween to make the librarian appear bigger. That was one of my big complaints with the window films that we had up there, is that they just looked a little too undersized. It's not so bad with this image because one of my other complaints was um, it just, it kind of, the image itself is you know, very flat right against the window. So actually when you're closer up to it, it looks completely fake because nobody would have a bookcase like slammed up against the window. I almost wish that they had designed it with a little bit more depth, kind of made it looking a little bit 3D-ish with the bookcases looking like they're a little bit farther back and then the librarian more front and center. But when you're actually way back at the street level, um, everything is so much smaller and so far away that that depth perception kind of gets lost in the dark and you can't tell it kind of looks like in the window um, it might be at the back of the room because everything looks so much smaller. So I'm going to use it I think. Um, I was on the fence trying to you know decide um, if, it, if it was worth using or not but I really do like that it fits my Ghostbusters theme and my literary theme inside. So I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna try and push the projector a little bit farther back. Unfortunately, this one doesn't have a zoom function, which would have been nice, um, because I would like to get that library to fill up that window just a little bit more. But, I mean, that was my only real complaint. Um, I do kind of wish it was just a smidgen um, brighter, not brighter in, in like the lamp brighter, but like I wish the colors were a little bit more vibrant and bright so it would stand out a little bit more from farther away. Um, is it worth $25? I'll leave that up to you to decide. Um, let me know in the comments below what that decision is. I'm curious to see what your thoughts are. And if you have other projections that you like, I'm all ears to see what you use. Maybe I will uh, find a, a window to throw another projection in. But that'll do it for today, I guess. So thanks for watching, guys. Stay tuned for more videos as we get closer to Halloween. Till then, take care, stay safe, and happy haunting.